What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, we're on a boat. We, we took a boat for 10 days. Finally, I have myself, my four beautiful sisters, my father and Coach Chris came. Basically island hopping for the next 10 days. Coach Chris unfortunately will have to leave us, to, not tomorrow, but after tomorrow. Today's pretty much day one. Right now we're in Pornati. It's gonna be a blast. Let's get right into it. Peace. Just to show you what we're working with. So, 100 liters of wine for a 10 day boat trip. Nelly, uh, tell me a word that describes the current mood of your beautiful sister Karina. One word. Fast. Hot. Hot? Hot? Karina, tell me one word that will describe the current mood of your beautiful sister Melania. Day one is done. Uh, we had a great day. We just got back from dinner. Right now, we're up on the front of the boat. Me and my beautiful sisters were watching the stars. Um, something about Croatia, and especially the coast and the islands. The sky over here is so beautiful at night, and you can see so many more stars. It's crazy. And obviously, I can't show it. The video really doesn't do it justice, but this is nice. I just wish, I just wish it was a little more quiet. <laughs> All right, good night. What's that? What's Getting breakfast ready over here. Chopping up some cheese, the salad, with some meat. <laughs> Poor Nino. Rise and shine, Zigan. You're on a boat with a YouTuber for 10 days, which means you'll get a camera stuck in your face every now and then, even when you don't want to. Great. Hey. Molly. Zappy McZapster. Everyone on their feet. Here we have a uh, delivery of all the groceries and drinks. Mostly drinks. Island life. Yeah. 
We just arrived to the island of Murter. We're dropping off Coach Chris. He's getting in a car going down to Split. Are you ready to continue your journey? Uh, I you successfully survived Camp Rajak though. That's it. It was actually kind of easy. There goes Coach Chris. <laughs> we just we just came to an island called Jut. Um, we're just gonna have dinner over here. So we have to put down, move these girls, and we have to put, <laughs> we have to put down the small boat. And with the small boat, we're gonna zip around to the to dinner. Hopefully, get zapped, and then we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> Wah wahoo! <laughs> Dash. 55 bills, but 50 for the taste on the bag. I don't really like to break. Run in my socks when I start to say something. Like Good morning. Uh, now we're gonna have some breakfast, wait for the girls to wake up. And I think we're gonna get going to the next place. I, don't, I have no idea where we're going though. I don't think anyone knows, so we're gonna make a decision a bit later. Just going for the morning exercise. This is your classic morning discussion with the neighbor. This is like my favorite type of house. Old, but then brand new windows, brand new doors inside. It's like a bunker. Awesome. We left Zlatin, we're on our way to Vodice, but we're stopping to have a little swim. We're going swimming? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay, now you, Melanie. I want to miss him, man. Just do it, though. You gotta commit yourself. You said you said that if Melly does it, you'll do it. So you're in trouble. Right? Yeah, go. Dad, are you gonna do it? Already. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> that wasn't a commitment. <laughs> so beautiful over here. Look how peaceful this. 
the whole thing for us pretty much. These guys just came five minutes ago, but now we're gonna have a little Croatian delicacy. Sea urchins. Cheap man's uh, champagne and caviar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me hear you say lights taking you nowhere. Angel. Look at that sky, life's begun. Nights are warm and the days are young. I feel so good about myself right now. We're setting up for some magic show. <laughs> hey, can the can the opening act of the magic show be you actually pulling off a good outfit? A good. <laughs> We're getting we're getting Sydney risotto, like black risotto, <laughs> and all of us are wearing white. I'm not wearing white, so laughing my outfit. I'm not eating black risotto because those pants like are those shorts are not gonna end up being white at the I'm end. Not, yeah, no, actually, yes, black yeah, but Anna's gonna like nail the table, flip it on your face. <laughs> You're gonna jump into the sea, <laughs> and then we're going out. Very true. How's tonight gonna be? Maximalno August 5th, Oluya, Dan Pobide, the day of victory. We're having lunch, we're having lamb, obviously. Lunch is kind of a far ride, so here, bear with me.
We rented some bikes, we're on the way to the bridge. Get smoked. We're in Skradin, <coughs> um, which is this place where the river Kirka flows into the Adriatic Sea. So the sea is actually like, it's constantly mixing uh, fresh water and salt water which is also cool, like it, it, it gives a certain taste, a certain temperature, a certain color, but also different animals live there. Uh, so for instance, just in that part where the water is mixing, a certain crab lives and only lives here and like on two other spots in Croatia. And it's obviously pretty rare and scarce and hard to get to. It's not endangered, but it's just, not happening on a lot of locations, so I think that's what we're having for dinner or for lunch. guys successfully acquired the crabs and the, the ones we eat and in return the guy gets five liters of wine the guy the guy took care of us and this is the least we can do as well thank you They basically look like scampi or uh, shrimp. Nah, no, not shrimp. Scampi. We're trying to eat oysters for lunch today, fresh oysters. This is kind of like the oyster farm. Um, doesn't look like anyone's there right now. So we're gonna go find the guy, honk a little bit with the boat, see where he's sleeping, somewhere in one of these like forests or whatever. Found some shade, maybe he's sleeping, and then uh, ask him for oysters. A three hour tour, a three hour tour. <laughs> Basically, it's a type of shrimp. It's called the shkarion. Oh, you can eat shrimp cocktails. <laughs> We threw the heads in the sea because the fish eat them and it's good, it's not bad. And now they're floating all over the place, but then the little ones didn't eat the full heads and now there's still some meat in the head, so my dad's going through the all-you-can-eat shrimp cocktail bar. Ah, chicken. morning um currently we're in like a fish farm so 
that right there, what you see, those are cages of fish. That's how they farm fish over here. Under these buoys, a huge net goes all the way down to the bottom, and then the fish are swimming in there. That's how they cultivate fish over here. That's how we get fresh fish. And the guys, the guys take care of them every day, feed them, whatnot. And then when they're ready, they take them out. Fun fact, when I was about three, four years old, my dad took me to one of these fish farms with tunas and threw me into the cage. And then we swam with the tuna. That was also kind of the origin of how I started swimming around that age, three, four years old, five. So technically I was raised by fish and trained with fish kind of like Aquaman, just better. So now we're gonna try to get the youngsters to get into the cage, or at least see it. And who knows, maybe one day they become a 10 time national champion, like their brother. I'll give you a dollar if you jump in. Huh? <laughs> Jokes. <Who>? Jokes. Why? <laughs> It's all packed with fish, bro. It's pretty beautiful, if you ask me. Poor man's uh, oysters and champagne. He's a small, he's a small guy. Welcome to Pakustame. Uh, we're looking for a space to tie the boat. The problem problem with this boat is that it's two meters deep and which is pretty deep for a boat this size we can't really get anywhere we want to we're gonna tie ourselves to that boat also I, th I think it's uh, customary for boats to like come to a marina around like 5 6 obviously every day wherever we go we're here at like 8 9 p.m. so there's no space everything last minute but we make it happen Hey, oh, so you're Melanie, you're gonna turn into an onion ring. Good morning. We're passing by some little islands right off of Sveti Petar, otherwise known as San Pedro. Funny because in Los Angeles, the Croatian community is also San Pedro. 
Funny enough, this island is called Love Island because from the aerial view, from the air, it looks like a heart. People come here, get engaged and stuff like that. Guy has a huge house with an outdoor pool. Outdoor pool looks like 15 meters by like five meters. Nuts. We're headed directly into a storm. I doubt you see it right now, but we're actually in the middle of the thing, like in the rain. Uh, oh, no, I guess not in the middle of it, but we're in it. It's windy, it's raining. I really thought it'd be much more aggressive. <laughs> like the waves in California are bigger on a nice day. Uh, that's the difference between the ocean, I guess, and the sea. But there's also a fire over there. Uh, looks like they're, they're putting it out. Hopefully the rain helps them too. Welcome to the island of Harava, right behind Ij. I guess I shouldn't say behind, more southwest. Yeah. yeah. We're on our way to Ij. I guess that's Ij over there, but we gotta get to Komosheva. Uh, my cold or whatever I have, it's not COVID, it has gotten worse. Uh, I feel horrible right now, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but look at this, this is beautiful right now. There's storms all over the place, but we're just ripping through all of them. They're not bad, but the sky look, looks kind of scary, but I feel great and uh, it's just, it's nice to be home. Just to know that this is my country. I wanted to say to my mom and dad and my four beautiful sisters that will watch this a little later. I really love you guys. Mom and dad, thanks for raising us properly and like really making us into good people. And you didn't spoil us and you could have, but you didn't. And, and I really love the life that you've been able to give us and the life that we're able to live. It's really, it's really nice. I love you guys. Last day, May 10th. Holy smokes. I'm feeling a bit better, but still coughing. Not COVID. Just gonna go swim for a little bit. Oh, 
Thank <laughs> you. 